Number eight, please. Number eight. Yes. Six pounds and four pence, please. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I do. Good morning everyone. Today is Tuesday and it's uh, Tuesday the um, 25th of April 2023. It's 8 a.m. now and the temperature is about uh, 12 degrees Celsius. A lovely sunny morning. As usual at 8 a.m. everyone going to work and it's busy as usual on the A13 a main trunk road going into London from the east today I'm going to take you around East London and we're going to go to a place called Marl End nothing much about Marl End which is interesting now but we had an interesting history once upon a time Trying to uh, talk and negotiate traffic is not easy, especially for me. I'm a guy and I don't walk fast. <laughs> so, ahead of us on the left is the Blackpool Tunnel, Dual Carriageway Tunnel, going underneath the River Thames. I believe it's one of two tunnels that goes underneath the River Thames, as far as I know. Yeah, so turn off left there where the vans are going, trucks are going. Goes into the tunnel. We're going to go on the A12. And that will take us to Marl End. Northbound. There's some police there. Hopefully we can catch up with them. Make it interesting to ride.
my tyres are still cold, so I better be careful. The traffic on the right there is what is the A12. It comes from directly from the tunnel itself. Blackwall Tunnel, we just talked earlier. They have BMW bikes. Big, uh, I believe they are a thousand cc, but they do have 500 cc motorbikes to chase the bad guys. Roads lead to the Olympic Village, where the uh, Olympics are held in 10 years ago, at least, was uh, held in the UK. May take you another time. Yeah, I'll turn for Marlen Camino. Mile end ahead of us, the tall building. And we're going to turn left into Mile End High Street. So, this is Mile End, everyone. I love this time of year when the um, blossoms are here on the trees and the fresh green leaves just come out and it's not too hot. It's really a nice time of year. It may be a bit cold for you, for, for some of you who come from hot countries, but uh, for us living here, going through the winter and arriving here, it's the best time of year. So this is my land, guys. Bold Church Station. As I said, Marlen has an interesting history. There's not much to it. You can see here is nothing in in particular that's interesting about Marlen. Although it's very close to the city, and you see the skyscrapers in the background there. 
from some of these grand houses. It used to be some place uh, quite nice once upon a time, but it's uh, gone down a little bit in the past uh, decade. UK, England, it didn't used to be like this. Once we were living as, as slaves, basically. Uh, you had uh, slaves that were living uh, and protected by the knights who owned the land around them and they lived like slaves and they uh, were given food and given protection in return for being a slave and there were other kinds of slaves look at, all, look at those beautiful cherry blossoms and there were other kinds of slaves who paid taxes to the king that was a situation in 1381, about uh, almost 700 years ago. Let me get out of the situation. Mercedes, don't buy them. Oh, he's decided to go again. That's really strange. That's Mall and Tube Station on the left. That's a banana bridge. That's the only thing it's famous for now. Yeah, so in 1381, feudal time, pretty, pretty much. You had kings, you had knights, and you had all the slaves that lived under, us, under them. And it was not long be, um, after um, the Black Death, uh, apparently. The Black Death was a, a plague um, of fleas carried by rats, uh, which um, killed like a uh, 20 or 30 percent of the population. It was ridiculous. It would kill many people, million side, across Europe. So the people were suffering from the effect of the uh, pandemic. <laughs> and also, after the after the um, the plague, the king they they increased taxes, as we are getting tax increases now after our pandemic. So the peasants were suffering in, in, in uh, a great deal. Unlike, the, uh, unlike nowadays, where when people protest, they just walk down the streets with some banners. In those days, uh, they protest on a different kind of scale. And in my land, a hundred thousand men gathered. They were a force to be reckoned with. To the extent that they killed uh, a few notable um, Power, powerful uh, leaders of the country in order to get their way. They forced the king to sign an agreement with them ab about the taxes. Of course he signed. But um, after signing, they invited the leader of the revolt to discuss and it's a trick. When he, I think his name was Ryder, Riker. And when Riker met the king, they killed him. And then they turned onto the revolters. They executed most of the leaders, all the ones they could find. And that was the nature of uh, power. And I don't think it's any different now. People now are softer. So they just need to lock them in prison and they will do as they're told.
but uh, prison uh, is an expensive thing and uh, they didn't have those in those days only for the um, uh, princesses and uh, their, their most uh, hated enemies they keep them in prison just look at them like, like birds in cages but uh, in those days yeah unlike now they will execute you Next stop will be Bethnal Green. These areas in East London, they used to be quite affordable because London is a very expensive place and uh, people started to go out to East London. It's still not too bad to travel into central London and it was affordable once upon a time. So all the young people working in the city, they used to uh, live around here. So all the all the businesses and entertainment were geared around the young people which meant that uh, it became quite a cool place East London but now it's become very expensive um, and uh, property is purchased now by uh, middle class uh, high, highly paid um, highly paid people that church there looks like a church but it's actually a fight uh, fight stadium they hold boxing competitions in there so certain times a week angry young men will be inside there watching Boxing fights. This is Bethnal Green Underground Station. Yeah, it's a cool place to hang out actually, these areas. As you can see from the people standing in the bus stop, it's a very multicultural area. Lots of people from different countries who made UK their home. I'm not sure which day of the week, but they have a big market down this road. I believe it's on a Saturday or Sunday. And down this road you will have lots of cafes selling the traditional English breakfast. Great place for English breakfast down here. Very busy. For example, that cafe, 338. Very busy. 
English breakfast used to be about four pounds, five pounds, but now they, they are more like ten pounds for English uh, English breakfast, and it probably would include a cup of tea. Some interesting uh, wool art there. And there's kids going to school on the left. Kids are becoming very big nowadays, they're not small anymore. And you see the skyscrapers or the city in, ahead of us. So this area here is very popular amongst the city liver, uh, city workers, so the banksters, the young banksters who are not quite up there in the hierarchy, but they're affording, they can afford to live around this area. So restaurants and uh, accessory and clothing stores here are not cheap. The clientele is rich, uh, young banksters. There is a box park. It's a collection of uh, cargo boxes, Car cargo uh, containers. And they've assembled them into units for um, mainly food and other accessories. Gets very popular during the weekend. Mainly young banksters. Financial centre. There you have the, the Gherkin building. On the right there is Liverpool Street Station, the main station for the city.
that's uh, Liverpool Street Station there. The white uh, framed uh, entrance. Now's the time everyone is uh, getting to work, as you can see, before 9am start time. Although many places uh, start uh, earlier. Sushi Samba, that's uh, a expensive uh, sushi restaurant on top of a um, very high building. I wouldn't call it a skyscraper, because uh, they're not quite as high as some of the ones in America. construction there so many workers slaves Quite a cold day today, everyone's dressed like it's midwinter. You know, it should be summer because we're almost in May. Ah, can't actually go in there. London Bridge is closed off. Ah. Follow some police. Oh. Follow one of the pastors again. <laughs> 